Yo, what's poppy gamers? Welcome back to a brand new bad business video. And today I'm going to be doing a assault rifle tier list. Now I do want to mention that this is going to be my personal opinion and what I would personally rank these all at. So if you guys would like to comment down below where you would put something else instead using the S, A, B, C, D, and F tiers, you guys can do that as well. Do mind, this is my personal opinion. A lot of the time, not all weapons are based off of like damage or how good it is. Sometimes it also has to do with how it feels and my enjoyment when I use said weapon. But don't worry, I'll let you know my opinions on the weapon as well when I give it said rank so you guys will know where things are going and the reason why. So for example, if I put something in S tier and I really wasn't that good of a weapon, I will explain to you why I put it in S tier, for example, enjoyment reason. This does take a lot of time to do, so I would appreciate any support that you guys can leave on the video, commenting, liking, and subscribing is always very helpful anyways let's hop straight into this by the way you guys should comment down below what tier list you like to see next do not do lmgs because i'm gonna stay away from lmgs until the mgx is out which is our next update on the 16th i think it is after that and i you know play a little bit with the mgx then i'll do my tier list anyways first up is the ak now, personally, I really do enjoy the AK. Uh, I think it's all around a great weapon, so it is going to go in the A tier. And I also do think not only is it enjoyable to use, it also is pretty good for lower end players as well as very high tier players. And it does have good damage, uh, headshot damage specifically. Still do think the AK could have more recoil. Alrighty, next up is the XK416. Now, I absolutely love the HK series of weapons. Uh, but personally for me, this is probably going to go in the C tier. And the reason for this is not because it's bad. By no means, I don't think any weapon in this game is necessarily bad, except for a few. But it's not that this gun's bad, it's just that it's super boring. You do have a lot of attachments to go for, and you can try out a ton of different setups. My most enjoyable setup for this is probably the DMR, but that got nerfed recently, so it's not as fun. But overall, the weapon's recoil is so low, and it's just it's just bare bones assault rifle, in my opinion. So it is going to get a C, but it is a great weapon for lower end players. Next up is the top. Tar. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, the tar absolutely slaps. And the only thing keeping it from going into S tier is honestly a revamp. Uh, but overall, the tar is super great. The reason why I don't really like it right now is because you can't really get your mobility to be that great overall on it. But that's my biggest uh, thing is that it doesn't have its attachments yet. So whenever it finally does get a revamp, it'll most likely go in that S tier spot. But as of right now, uh, the gun's super enjoyable. It's super good. Uh, and I would recommend people to use it. Next up is the STG. I don't like World War II weapons. The STG is an iconic one. For a lot of people this is going f tier because i simply do not like it i it's probably my least used assault rifle on all the assault rifles next up is the scar this is s tier this is probably the first weapon i truly enjoyed in bad business and i know you guys don't see me to use it too often but that's because it doesn't have a lot of hype around it in terms of like videos and such but i do think i have like three or four videos on the scar series scar hammer and scar h and overall, I absolutely love this gun. I think it's amazing. Great headshot damage. It does have only 25 bullets. 20 or 25. I can't remember. It's been a while since I used it. But yeah, it's probably in my top three most kills on assault rifles as of right now. But I absolutely do love this scar. And I think it deserves the S tier. And if there's an S plus, it would go up there when it gets attachments. Next up, we have the Mutant and uh this is gonna surprise people this is what i was talking about weapons that are purely for enjoyment for me uh but this would be s tier i honestly enjoy that way too much probably way more than i should but overall this is one of my more favorited weapons in the game and i don't really get to use it too often because obviously i I don't really play that much when I'm not recording or streaming. I love the Mutant. It, it's just overall good. And you can do a ton of different setups. I use the auto on it. Uh, the burst is also pretty decent, but I do enjoy the auto. But I don't know what it is about the recoil. It's just so satisfying. Uh, I love the weapon. Next up is the M4. And this one will be going in the B tier. That might surprise some people. It's not because the weapon's bad. I just think that there is way better choices. Thing that keeps the 
m4 in the b tier above the xk is that it's just way more enjoyable to use it does have a little bit of recoil it's very low on recoil but overall the way the gun reacts when you're firing uh the multiple different irons that you can get on uh the hand guards when you switch them i absolutely love that and i just love how the weapon feels overall it is my second most used assault rifle and i think my second most used across the board on the game it's also the most used and the most bought weapon i'm pretty sure probably the most bought pre-bought weapon after that is most likely the honey badger i would guess next up we have the m16 this is an a tier weapon this weapon absolutely slaps it is so good uh overall i wish that we could take the the handle off on top uh but that's just iconic to the m16 so we won't be seeing that removed even with its re-revamp unfortunately i am not a fan of the way the irons look and the re-revamp actually look very good so i'm excited for when this gets revamped and possibly it could go up to the s tier uh, whenever it does get that but as of right now i think it's an a tier weapon it's across the board a very good weapon across the board damages everything next up is honey badger i had to put my baby up in the s tier the honey badger is just all around great weapon every everything you want it to do it can do if you want it to be fast paced you can do that with its revamp there's so much you can do and it's one of the weapons that no matter what i know i have a trusty iron sight and i don't have to put an optic on it that's always good to have but I don't feel like I'd say too much. You guys saw enough uh, content on the Honey Badger. You know how I feel about it, especially it being almost 11,000 kills on the weapon. Next up is the Groza. Personally, I think this is also a B tier weapon. Uh, when this thing released, I saw it as the best gun in the game. Not gonna lie. I don't know if it ever got nerfed after the fact. I absolutely enjoyed this gun so much when it first released. The headshots, the irons, all of the above just felt so good on this. Uh, it had pretty good amount of attachments as well. Uh, but overall, I think it's a great weapon and I'm surprised more people don't use it because it's very dominant. Next up, we have the Galil. Now this is gonna be the first weapon that goes in our D tier. Uh, if I didn't make my video that I, I was wrong about this weapon, uh, it's it's one of my more popular videos, I think. But I'm not a fan of the Galil because of its zero recoil. Like, it it has the lowest recoil in the game, I think, uh, or very close to it. P90 might be, might be that one. I'm not 100% on that, but the Galil does have a ton of low recoil. But what I never considered is that its damages uh, were actually really good. If you guys don't know, I don't really, I'm not too big of a fan of weapons that have absolute zero recoil. I do like to have a little bit of a challenge when shooting my weapon. I, not all of these weapons up here in the upper tier uh, will actually resemble that, but the Galil itself just felt so boring all the time and it's super slow. But yeah, in my opinion, the Galil right now is D tier, but I do feel like when it gets its revamp, that is going to be an S tier weapon. No cap. It's probably going to be so good. Next up, we got the G36. Um, yep. Next up, we have the G3. And I think this is honestly another uh, A tier weapon. I do think that it is probably one of the stronger weapons in the game right now. But overall, in terms of damages and how it performs, it's most likely going to be an S tier. But for me personally, it is an A tier uh, weapon very good very powerful uh, and i do like the sound of it which is a plus next up we got the g11 probably my second least actually this is my least used weapon this is my second most weapon least used g11 is going the f tier because i don't really enjoy burst weapons and i'm also not a fan of the revamp that it got this thing used to be super dominant when it comes to bursting people in the head i'm not sure if it still does that or not if it does i would move it to d tier but i have not used this and i do not want to use it so it's going to go in the f tier here. not a fan of it next up we got the famas uh this is going to go in the b tier it probably deserves a tier because it is so good with automatic it's not even funny how good this thing is in my opinion i would i would see it personally as one of the most broken weapons in the game if i had a say because with its auto mod it's so good <laughs> and the recoil is not that intense on it either but the reason why it gets a b tier for me because i personally love the famas in terms of burst in other games and the burst in this game i just don't like it but if the burst felt better in this game, this would go up easily in the A tier or S tier. Next up, we do have the foul. I think this will be a C tier for now. I do think the weapon's very dominant. I have a foul video on my channel that, that's pretty good. I can't wait for the revamp, and I got a feeling that depending how this foul goes, if we do get an auto version for it, which we should, considering that the foul does have that 
uh, IRL, it might go all the way up to S tier. I'm not sure. Really got to wait until that revamp comes out. A is Val. Gonna be honest with you, I am so disappointed in this weapon. Uh, so that would be going to the D tier. There is so much missed opportunity in terms of attachments for this gun, and that really upset me. Also, I don't really like the gun. It's good. Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of people are going to be in the comments getting mad at me for this not at least getting an A tier. But I see this as a D tier in terms of my personal enjoyment. When I use this gun, I do not have fun. Not only that, attachments that it has, there could have been so much more, man. Very disappointed in that revamp. And I hope it does get a second revamp because yeah, that's disappointing. ARX. This gun slaps. This is going to be another A tier. This would be A tier or S tier or even S plus if that was on this list when it gets its revamp so we can get a little bit more mobility going on with this gun. Because as of right now, it's A tier because of its lack of mobility for me. Next up, we have the AN90. Oh, is this our last one? Oh my God, we're flying through this. Well, last one is AN94 and this one, I'm gonna give it S. I have so much good memories with this gun from older Call of Duties, <clears throat> Black Ops 2. But not only does it resemble that in so many ways, it just gives me so many good flashbacks and I do really enjoy the weapon, even without uh, having the auto mod or whatever it's called, ramp up mod. I don't, I forget what the name of it is. Yeah, overall the gun is actually very dominant. You don't see people use it too often because it is a game pass weapon. Uh, you can also buy it via credits, obviously. But I was tempted to put it in A tier because of it being a game pass weapon. But overall, this is my tier list and I feel like a lot of people are not gonna be happy about this. I do think that there's a lot of weapons here i know there's some people that put m4 s or a tier but realistically in terms of damages it does not belong in those if we're going based off of damages i reorganize everything it didn't change too much but s tier goes honey badger mutant scar h a94 the a tier goes ak g3 m16 tar 21 and arx b tier goes m4 Famas and Groza. T tier is XK, then Fal. D tier is Galil, then AS Val. F tier is G36, STG, and then the G11. But yeah, that is my list of assault rifles and where I would put them. I love you guys to leave comments down below. Uh, your opinions on my list as well as maybe your guys' list if you guys feel like typing all of that out. If you guys don't want to type it all out, you can simply put one gun in each tier so for example go s and then you put the bracket and then what weapon you would put in that you could do it that way instead of going through and putting every single weapon on a list and if you don't want to do that either you could just tell me what you would put in s tier instantly like what's the top top weapon that you would put in s tier but yeah if you guys like to see more content like this where i do tier list i will love to do more so i'd appreciate some love and support on this video but yeah i'm gonna go thank you guys so much for all support i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video peace out